And now it is time to describe the third main point, the difference between a treatment and a cure. Diagnoses are educated guesses and are far from infallible. Once a diagnosis is made, conventional medical treatments typically include one of two things, surgery or prescription medications. Both of these options are often preventable, often unnecessary, and sometimes harmful. When it comes to chronic health conditions, most of these types of treatments are simply suppressive therapies. They are designed to provide relief by masking your symptoms. Your doctor knows these suppressive therapies cannot cure you but he or she is unlikely to explain this to you unless you bring it up. Here are some common examples of the conventional treatment approach to chronic health conditions. If you are in pain, the doctor may prescribe pain medications to help reduce inflammation and or suppress the pain signals coming from your brain. If you suffer from allergies, the doctor may prescribe antihistamines to help suppress the histamine reactions of your immune system. If you are depressed, antidepressant medications may be prescribed in an attempt to inhibit the reuptake of serotonin by the neurons in your central nervous system. Does this sound familiar? Although some level of relief is usually obtained, such symptom suppressing medications should be thought of for exactly what they are. They are treatments, not cures. If the symptoms of a particular condition require repeated doctor visits and ongoing treatment, or if symptoms return soon after treatment is discontinued, this certainly could not be considered a cure. If you trust the rampant pharmaceutical advertisements as your main authority on health and disease, you could live your whole life never understanding this simplest of truths. Since most conventional treatments can do nothing about why you developed the condition in the first place, most can also do nothing to prevent the condition and all its accompanying symptoms from continuing or returning in the future. In other words, your chronic health conditions are not caused by a deficiency of the drugs used to treat them. It's as my co-author, Dr. Walt Stoll, has always said, the resolution of chronic health problems will never come from something you take but from something you do. Despite any improvement you may enjoy while on your medications, if you do not also address the underlying root causes of your particular conditions, your symptoms can be expected to continue and progress unabated. What, then, is a cure? A true cure, by definition, would mean that your body has returned to its normal, healthy, pre-disease function and no longer requires treatment. With a cure, other than practicing what you learned from the experience, you are basically able to go on with your life as if nothing ever happened. Although conventional medical cures are often possible for certain acute conditions, when it comes to the majority of our chronic conditions, what we're actually being offered is more along the lines of disease management. Indeed, once a disease has progressed to the point of being irreversible, such an offering may well be necessary. It's clear that conventional medicine shines in many important areas. However, it still offers no cure for the vast majority of chronic health conditions so prevalent in our modern-day society. I know this may come as a shock to anyone who has been under the impression that a cure is what they were getting inside their prescription bottles. 
Many conventional treatments available today can actually expand disease. What might be at stake for the pharmaceutical giants if everyone clearly understood the facts I am presenting here? The conventional medical system is set up for the diagnosis and treatment of disease, not for the prevention of disease and the promotion of health. This, combined with the fact that conventional medicine can offer no cure for the majority of chronic health conditions so prevalent today, is why my co-author and I believe that disease care is a far more accurate term for what we are really getting. We have been conditioned to call it health care for political and economic reasons, not because that's what it truly is.